just uh, coming back from Sunday Mass. And this is my house. And see this thing on my head? This is like my little, it looks like a Jewish kippah. <laughs> This is what I wear though. It's kind of like a go back to the veil, but kind of a mini version. So people have been asking me, why am I making these videos? So I thought I'd kind of enlighten everybody on this with just a little kind of welcome to my home video. And I guess you could say I was somebody who had it all going on. I mean, a very happy life. Um, I was, and I'm an artist and I had a gallery and was very involved in city committees and uh, business, have a broker's license and been doing all kinds of things. Actually had a pretty good life, everything you could ever want and dream of. Um, here's my house, see I have a view of the canyon and the ocean is out there so I have a nice place. The Lord has really blessed me. But I found out that I was like despairing. It's like sad. And it's like no matter what I did, no matter where I went, I felt like I just wasn't happy inside. Like my soul was dying. And I got really depressed. This is over a period of quite a few years. But little by little, I started getting more and more downhearted until one day I was just exercising like I do and I, I stopped and it was night and I just looked up and I said, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I, I just don't like living. And I asked the Lord, like if you're out there and you're real and you hear prayers, then kill me because I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm broken and I don't know how to fix it. I've tried everything. And so I prayed about this and he didn't do anything. Nothing happened. I mean, nothing at all. I didn't die. So I was begging him, just kill me. And he didn't. I kind of sat there not knowing what to think. And I thought, well, fine, I'll just sit here until I die. And then when I'm dead, I won't have to worry about this anymore. But since you didn't do anything, how's about we make a, a, a deal? Fix me and I'm all yours and I'll do everything your way instead of trying to do stuff my way. And basically like jumping in the water. And even though I'd been baptized Catholic, I've been going to church, uh, I just didn't really have a heart that was living for the Lord. I was really living for myself and didn't really know that I was because I thought, well, I'm doing good things for people and I'm a nice person and what the heck, but I wasn't really. So I just prayed that he'd kill me and instead the sound, it's like all of a sudden this peace flooded my heart and it went quiet. It's as if Imagine having a buzz saw in your head going on every day of your life, and then one day it's gone. That's what it felt like to me. It was just pure silence and pure peace. And all of a sudden, I felt like I saw my purpose in the universe. It's like I saw who I was, and I mattered. And that all these things that I had thought were so important, I was really just wasting my time because they weren't being done for the glory of God. And when I realized the true love of that God, I felt like I wanted to do everything for him, not for myself anymore, because he made me, and, and it was better to be working toward union with him, because that's the source of all life. And I made this commitment that, okay, I'm yours, I'm gonna do everything your way, but I don't know how to do this, because you know, my friends, you know, I was like the life of the party. I was funny and, you know, would tell the jokes and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm thinking, well, how do I do that? I mean, no more dirty jokes. I mean, what about all my friends and what they like to do? And, you know, what about dating? And, oh, that, how do you be like this? I had no clue. So I just said, well, I'm just going to trust you. And from that minute on, I had this intense desire to just read and study scripture. 
I mean, that was like all I wanted to do. So I would do all the basic things I had to, but I kept returning to scripture. Basically, that was the day that changed my life. And since that day, I've been encountering so many miracles that I couldn't even tell you how amazing my life has become. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Bye-bye.